Hi, boys and girls, and welcome. I'm so glad to be here with you today. My name is Mr. Lucas. And I'm Miss Regan. It's so fun to get to hang out with you today. And hey, friends, who is our friend who helps us dig, dig, dig into God's Word? That's right, Hamilton. On the count of three, let's call him together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hamilton! Hamilton. Hmm. Oh. Maybe he's taking a nap. Let's try it again. This time, let's use our soft voices to call him. One, two, three. Hamilton! Hamilton. It's time to wake up. Oh, he's jiggling. Oh. Hi, Hamilton. Oh, we're so glad you're here, Hamilton. You were sleeping, Hamilton. What do you have with you? It's a, it's a blankie, isn't it? He's got his blanket. Oh, boys and girls, if you have a blanket that you sleep with, can you pat the top of your head? Yeah. Now, is your blanket like your favorite color and is it soft? If it is, just kind of rub your cheek a little bit. Mmm, it feels so good. And so if, if it's your favorite color, it's got little things around the edge or it's got a picture on it and you really like it, just kind of go like this. Oh, I see you. I wonder if Hamilton's blanket is part of our story today. I think it is, because our Bible story today is about somebody who had trouble sleeping. Do you know where we can find the big God story? That's right, the Bible. God gave us the Bible so we can learn about Him. It's full of things that helps us get to know Him. And we read the Bible to learn about God and about His Son, Jesus. Before we dig, dig, dig into God's Word, let's all stand up and sing our Bible song together. Now it's time to hear God's Word, hear God's Word, hear God's Word. Now it's time to hear God's Word, so let's look in the Bible. Hello friends, my name is Miss Megan, and I'm so excited that we get to tell the big God story together. You're gonna help me with this story, so we're gonna pretend to be a couple different people. There's a king, there's a man named Daniel, there's some lions, and there's also some grumpy helpers. Do you guys think that you can do all that with me? If you think you can, give me a thumbs up, okay? That's great! So the Bible tells a story of a king named Darius. Let's pretend to be a king. You might put your crown on like this, or you might stand like this. Oh, you guys look great, you're so kingly. All right, so King Darius, he had a very special helper named Daniel. And Daniel loved God so much. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put our hands over our heart because Daniel loved God. And then we're gonna go like this because God, we usually point out when we talk about God, Daniel loved God so much. And you know what? Daniel knew that God is caring and that God is special and that there's no one like God. All right, every day Daniel talked to God. He prayed, he prayed three times a day. Can you pray with me? I mean, can you count with me? I know you can pray with me. Let's count together too. Can we count to three? One, two, three, excellent. So Daniel prayed and talked to God. You know what? The king also had some other helpers that weren't very nice. They were grumpy. Let's go like this. Oh, I like your grumpy faces. Those are great. And you know what? Because Daniel was the king's special helper, Daniel got to tell those other helpers what to do. Do you think that those other helpers liked that? They didn't. They didn't at all. They didn't like Daniel at all. And you know what? They wanted to get Daniel in trouble. So guess what they did? They made up a new rule that nobody could pray to God. They could only pray to King Darius. <gasps> oh no! And then if somebody did pray to God, they would get thrown into the lion's den. Can you roar like lions with me? Roar! Oh my goodness, that's so scary. You guys did such a great job. Oh boy. What was Daniel gonna do? The lion's den? He loved talking to God. Remember, he prayed to God three times every day. Uh-oh, this is a problem. So 
the special helpers, they started watching Daniel. And what do you think that they saw? You're right, they saw that Daniel was praying. Can you guys pray with me? Daniel would pray. Oh no, the helpers saw him. And you know what they did? They told on him. <gasps> They told King Darius that Daniel was praying to God and not to him. Do you know how that made King Darius feel? That made him feel really sad. Can I see your sad faces? Oh dear, King Darius was so sad. And King Darius, he had to throw Daniel in the lion's den. He didn't want to. But remember, Daniel broke the rule and he prayed to God. So they threw him in the lion's den and they put a stone in front of the door so that he couldn't get out. Oh my goodness, King Darius was so scared. He, he was so sad, he couldn't eat. He couldn't even sleep that night. He was so worried about Daniel. He was really hoping that Daniel's God would protect him and keep him safe from the lions. So the next morning, he ran, 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 ran. Can you run with me? Let's run. And he ran and ran and ran to the lion's den. Oh my goodness, he probably was a little tired after that. And he opened up the lion's den and guess what? What do you think was in there? Do you think that Daniel was safe in there? If you don't think that Daniel was safe, I want you to shake your head like this. But if you do think that Daniel was safe, I want you to nod your head like this. Guess what? It's good news. Daniel was safe. God protected him. King Darius was so happy. He was so happy that Daniel's God protected him. And Daniel was so happy knowing that God is always with him. God took care of him because God is caring and God loves him and God loves us too. Let's pray and thank God that he's always with us and that he takes care of us. Dear God, thank you that you take care of us and that you're always with us when we're scared and when we're afraid. We love you so much and thank you that you love us too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for listening, boys and girls, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Wow, I love that story. Just like God cared for Daniel, God cares for us. Let's stand together and say our verse. It reminds us that we can trust God when we are afraid. It goes like this, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, three. Let's all say that together. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, three. Wow, you are really good at saying that verse. It was so much fun learning together that God is caring. We'll see you next time and remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Goodbye, friends.
life doesn't go the way I planned. 